Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday where we are, April the 25th, and exactly 11 years ago today, we were rushing to the hospital. Okay, we were slowly going to the hospital um, so that I could get induced, so that I could give birth to my very first baby in 10 years and my very first girl. And it was a momentous occasion for us and I wanna always be able to remember it and I'm super excited to be celebrating Gabby's 11th birthday today. And I'm excited to have you guys along with us. Happy birthday, Gabby! I just wanna Yeah, so Gabby, what'd you get for your birthday so far? A horse. A horse, and what else did you get? Salvats. Everything your horse needs. And everything he needs, including boarding. Yep, she's got a lot of stuff for her birthday. So this year we got her one present and this is it. So when I was growing up, every time it was my birthday, we'd wake up in the day and we'd go to school, we'd come home, we'd have supper and then we'd have cake and ice cream and then I could open my present. But um, I'm a super impatient person and in our family and with my kids, we wake up in the morning and we open our present. It's the first thing we do because who doesn't want to open their present first? So I want to know in the comments below, what is your birthday present opening tradition? I'm just curious. Guys, she thinks it's her birthday. She thinks it's her birthday. She's like, rub me, rub me, rub my belly. It's my birthday. <laughs> All right, Gabby. What do you think? Should you go, go for it? So like I said, she got this present. And the only reason she got this present was because... Horse and all the things I needed. Right, but I meant like I would not have even bought her any present because she got so much already. Um, but this is something that we needed. Something she needed a couple more things. So that that's the only reason she really got the present. Go for it. I'm going to say this. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna use the ribbon for your birthday party. So for any of you guys who don't know, who are just tuning in, Gabby's birthday is on Saturday and it's gonna be party. a fun one. Party. Her party is gonna be on Saturday. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> hey, the things are wrapped up. <laughs> what is it? I hit the Noble Fitters, um, Noble Outfitters, um, goodie bag. Called again? Tack? What is this called? Brush box. Brush box? Brush box. But it's a goodie bag! Look at all the goodies! So yeah, it's filled with goodies. Okay. Well, Turn it around here. She's got all sorts of goodies. You guys can probably guess what some of those are. But I'm gonna show you um, what I love about this bag in a few minutes. When we were looking for a, a bag for her to carry her brushes, I saw one of these and it was smaller. And the reason, the number one, hands down, reason I wanted this bag um, is, dun, 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 it's got no bottom, it's a mesh bottom. So every time you put your dirty brushes in there and all the hair and the dirt goes in there, it just falls through the bottom. So it's so much cleaner. So that was what I liked about it. And then later I was able to find one in the color that Gabby wants and one that was bigger. So this is a perfect size for her because it'll carry a lot of stuff. I find our little ones are kind of small. Um, it's easy to get into it. These things are huge, these pockets. But I also like that she could put lots of stuff in here. Like on the sides with all these little pockets, she can carry so much more stuff. There's a spot for everything. So it will be super organized and I really like that. And I like that some of the pockets have a Velcro closure so she can put like her cell phone if she brings it to the barn or yeah. stuff like that. So I love this bag. Do you like it, Gabby? Yeah. Good, I'm really glad. Guys, I already have new bags. Thanks, Dad. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Oh, happy, happy non birthday. No, it's great to meet you. When I'm connected to the internet, you can ask me to find answers on Google search. I want to buy these for the summer. It's a banana boat. It's a banana boat. But you could sit on this in the water all by yourself and learn to paddle. Uh, I don't know how to paddle, 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 paddle. <laughs> but you could actually have freedom on the water. I don't know, paddle, paddle, paddle. 
I don't I keep putting things in my cart and thinking like do I really need this but let's be real when you go to Costco you only go for one reason to buy stuff yeah we don't have any goggles but you don't like these ones yes I do don't you like the ones that are bigger for your face Gabby likes the one with the nose piece. I hate them. Yeah, I don't think these ones are good for you. I have goggles. Too bad. A floaty. That's so cool. Look at it. It's super squishy. It's super squishy for me. Okay, let's get this. Sophie always is the one that comes shopping with me, and she's always the one that's like, let's buy this, let's buy this. And then I'm always like, no, no, no. So we came to this section that had these huge pool noodles that are like $20 each. Were they $20 each? And Sophie's like, we need this. I'm like, no, we don't need this. Then she trades off and goes with Sam, and then I see this. I see them walking along with these stupid cool noodles. Like, they are cool. Look how tall it is on me. Yeah, they are super Any, cool. Like, yeah, <laughs> you're such a sucker, though. Justice, Sophie and I getting a few more shirts because she didn't get enough shirts last time. One. You want that one? Is it small? Yeah. And we're also picking up um, treat bag stuff, huh? For Gabby's party. Uh, mixed berry scented. Mixed berry scented. They have so much cute stuff here. Unicorn stuff. Letters in the unicorn pattern. I just found the shape of my dream. That poppy one. You want that puppy shirt? Okay, I need it's it. pajamas, and you know what? My dog would almost fit in that pocket. Hey, mom, I need it. Let me see if I can find your size. It is pouring rain, terrible weather outside, and it's Gabby's birthday. But we're not really gonna do a big, huge celebration because her party is in three more days. So that's when we're gonna celebrate. But we don't want her day to go by without doing anything, so. What are we doing? We're eating at McDonald's like last year. Every year we get McDonald's. Right? And on my birthday, we're gonna eat, dun dun dun, N.W. N.W. <laughs> and you like McDonald's. Gabby's. I'll get a grandpa burger at A&W no. and a drink. So yeah, we're just gonna have McDonald's <laughs> and eat it. And then after we're done, we're gonna go home and just relax for the rest of the evening and do nothing. I could. Did you hear me? What? When we're done eating, we're just gonna go home and sit around and do nothing and no. relax for the whole rest no. of the evening. Let me tell you. We're going riding and it's my mom's lesson. It's your mom's lesson, but you get to ride. You get to see your boy. And I'm not riding today because my thigh muscles are sore. Not only sore, but I've been squeezing with them all day. You should walk and trot. Yeah. You, you don't need thigh muscles to walk and trot. Oh, crazy thing happened to me today. I was reading the comment section, and a lady named Kathy Mick or Mike, I think it's Mick, M-I-K. She said. When you ride, you have to engage your abdominal muscles, like how you brace yourself, you know, so somebody can't push you over, so that you gain your balance. And I was like, what? <coughs> Why did nobody ever tell me this? I had Just no idea. sit up straight in the saddle. Yeah, all I do is sit up straight in the saddle. I don't like... That's what I do. <laughs> I don't engage my my abdominal muscles no, so I that I... No, I lock my torso. I don't lock my torso. Nobody told me to lock my torso. I always lock my torso. Okay, well, thank you so much, Kathy, for letting me know that that's a thing because now I'm going to try it. When I sit up straight, I don't even feel like I'm sitting up straight. You feel like you're slouching over? You feel like no, you're going No, I feel like I'm turtle? just like this. Like, I feel like normal. Mom. When you get on the horse, you're all fresh and you do this and uh, when you're cooling out, you do this. <laughs> Ain't that the yeah. truth? Yes. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, we're like... <sighs> okay. I'm not going to lie. I'm nervous to ride today. Last week, I had a crazy lesson. I had a really hard time getting Sabrina to go into the canter. Because of that, I was bouncing up and down like crazy for a long time in my last lesson. Usually that means I'll have a good lesson today, but I never come with expectations about my lesson. I come always just, 
I always just come and let whatever happens happen. <coughs> come with doubts, then you'll have a good lesson. Yeah, sometimes it feels like that's the truth, huh? Yeah. Anyway, I asked if I could write English today and practice other things than not practice cantering. But the truth is, it's because I'm nervous. And I know it's because I'm pulling on her mouth and stuff and it's because I don't know what I'm doing and she gets confused when I'm so unbalanced but, and when I'm pulling on her mouth. But I don't know if it means that I should canter today because I'm nervous or if taking time away from it will make me stronger. What do you guys think in the comments below? So funny, they're looking at me like, what's that umbrella thing you have there? I think Storm's got a thing for Lady now. I think he traded Sabrina in. There's Sabrina over there. He's like, I'm coming, uh-oh. Whoa. He's like, come on. Come to the gate, he says. Oh, they're full of energy today. This is not gonna be cool. Even Sabrina. Yeah, he's pushing around Sabrina. He's not at the bottom of the herd anymore, you guys. He's fighting strong. Hope Gabby has a good, good ride on him. A good birthday ride. At least the rain is almost gone. It's just a big mist out here. But did you guys notice two of the same blankets in the same field? There's three horses here with Sabrina's new blanket. Come on, Stormy. Come on. They're nervous of my umbrella. Uh oh, I'll put it down. Him and Sabrina both came running over to us. They can give you. You can tell when it's a bad day in the paddock because they like come to the gate and they want us. Even Sabrina today was like, "Take me out of here." She's just tired of being in the rain. Right, Storm. Oh, you're such a handsome man. So this is his brand new rain sheet. He's had on just for a couple of days. Yeah. Just gorgeous. Thanks for that, Storm. I just love that you felt the need to do that. It's raining. Sabrina doesn't have any earplugs on. And Laura is writing English. And I have a good authority she might canter on an English saddle. So let's see what happens. Laura's going for the bridge. Here she goes for the bridge. Oh, I missed it. Third time's a charm. There she goes, over the bridge.
get out of here. Well, she's got no spurs on today. She only wears spurs when she's uh, being instructed. In the spare time, she doesn't. I think that I'm going to hiding Somewhere by a gated star Baby, they ain't never gonna find me I'm a renegade Look at Sophie, she's a big girl now. She's doing everything all by herself. Well, except for the saddle. We put the saddle on, but she's getting girth already, all by herself. How's it going, Soph? Is it going good? Cool. The stool is over there. Sophie's got her new boots on and your half chaps. Breathe and half halt. Ooh. Is she cantering on purpose? No. Yes. Oh. She's asked four times if she can canter. Your inside rein is four inches shorter than your outside, so you're actually pulling her off the rail, honey. I could be the one who saved you from this our place. We could be as one and we'll escape. We could run away. We don't gotta stay. I can feel it if birds inside me Take away the pain, we can go insane Never get to open cause it's too late I could be the one who saves you from this place Baby, they ain't never gonna find me Find me, find me We could run away, we don't gotta stay I can feel it, it burns inside me Take away the pain, we can go and say I can feel it, it burns inside me We could run away love you that much anyway I wanted to just say an extra special thank you to all of you guys that have sent me messages and comments and amazing love and support the last couple of days you guys are amazing I just wanted to also say thank you so much for supporting us so much through all of this learning process for us because it's been such a huge learning process and it means a lot to me thank you thank you for all the birthday wishes
Can you guys believe I'm 11? I can hardly believe that you're 11, Gabby. It's just amazing to me. Can you believe she's 11? No. Well, yeah. Ruby's like, play with me, play with me. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for today. We will see you tomorrow where we will be back at the barn for Sophia's lesson, which is I, which I think is gonna be a very eventful thing because Sophia has exactly one le last yeah. lesson before jump club, and she so wants to jump at jump club. Lesson? Before jump club. Uh -huh. I need to jump tomorrow. She has been asking Fiona to let her jump. It's It's been crazy, so I don't think it's gonna happen tomorrow, but she's determined to make it happen, so I guess we're gonna see. Is Sophie gonna jump tomorrow? Guys, you should get one of these, because they're good for squeezing. Are you gonna jump tomorrow? Yep. I think she's gonna do a little mini jump. I'm well, maybe. That's not too bad. Okay, <laughs> see oh, guys, later. guys. Three people fell off. Jesse, Sammy, and Emily. Yeah, it was a catastrophe today. <laughs> Three people fell off, Blue spooked, and then another Twice. horse spooked, and then two people fell off at the same exact time. And then, yeah, Blue was just a basket case today. But anyway, goodbye, we'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.